Hi, this is Anthony with a video tutorial on how to create a GIF video using GIFmaker.me. Uh, this is one in a series of video tutorials I've created on GIFmaker.me, so you can check my um, YouTube channel for the full review as well as tutorials. Now let me show you how to create this video using GIFmaker.me. So I will be using these Niagara Falls pictures of mine to create a video. So you go to the gifmaker.me homepage and right up top you'll see these two links. Um, you can click any of them. I will click the gifmaker uh, link and um, you basically just click this upload images button to upload your images and then it'll ask you to select the images, select all the images and then click open and it'll start the upload process and once it's completed um, you will see them in the section right here. You can um, adjust the settings, the canvas size, animation speed, and the, the loops. Now the loops will not work for the video because uh, it just plays one, uh, one loop. And you can also use this section right here to upload music if you want to, but uh, at this uh, point in time uh, you can only use the YouTube audio library. Okay, and then you scroll down and then you click this button that says create video animation. Okay, and once you do that, you will see these links here, and then you just basically just click the download uh, this video link, and then uh, you will see this dialog box pop up. Um, I generally choose save file, and then OK. So I'm using Firefox, and uh, this is my downloaded file. It's an MP4 format. Uh, depending on the browser that you're using, uh, it will show you how, where it's been downloaded. And uh, this, bear in mind that this um, file is not like a high quality or sharp uh, images um, or video quality, but it's great for sharing on social media. And uh, this is what the file output looks like. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can check my video review, like I said, um, and other tutorials on driftmaker.me. And uh, if you've got any comments uh, or questions, you can leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.